And this is, and this the, is the briefing, briefing from May, May 29, 2017. 2017. I'm here to I'm share here with you all the God order news. That God on the news states that a black man, Professor Gio Hugo, has been blessed with the ultimate intelligence of Aether Subinfinity. Aether Subin exactly represents intelligence and end the level of intelligence, which God designed for Professor Hugo, that end to be infinity, and Aether Subinfinity. Since black people share the same genes as Professor Gio Hugo, God has been gained the black race, not just the most intelligent race, but the richest race and the most undefeatable race. God Almighty's grand unified theorem, nicknamed Gagat, is a revelation from God which infallibly proved that all theorems also called everything that exists, and all equations, also called morphisms, past, present, and future, originate out of one invariant, GI, defined as God, with orthogonal components, GIJ, and a divergence, also called change, of GIJ, J equals zero. To repeat, God Almighty's Grand Unified Theorem, nicknamed Gagat, is a revelation from God, which infallibly proved Yeah.
I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. No, I can't hear anything. No. Miss Q, can you hear me now? I hear you now. Yeah. Praise God for that. Yeah. That's very good. Uh, like uh, I said, I'll start again. This is the, uh, we want to share with everyone the God order. And we want to show the surrender of God to the university. I'm going to bring it up on your screen right now. Can you see the Gartigan page in front of you at this time, Ms. Q? Yeah, I see it. This is a surrender from Gartigan University, which, as I said before, was the headquarters of intelligence prior to the Gartigan discovery, and also the home of Professor Carl Frederick Gauss. Professor Carl Frederick Gauss, if you just take a look at his, just before we get back to this page, uh, can you see the page on Professor Carl Frederick Gauss in front of you? Yes, I see it. Yeah, Professor Gauss, if you go to the second paragraph, he's referred to as the Princeps Mathematicorum, or like it says in Latin, the foremost of mathematicians and the greatest mathematician since antiquity. Can you see that highlighted in the blue? Yeah, I see it. Gauss is considered to be the greatest mathematician in the European society. So what's important to understand in life of this is that Gauss was being celebrated at Gottingen University in the year 2005. It was the 150th commemoration of Gauss's transforming on from 1855. They selected the greatest mathematics works to honor, at that point, the greatest mathematician. They selected works for each week of the year, which they are 52. If you look at the top of that list, you'll see the work by Professor Oyibo, listed at the top, called Grand Unified Theorem. Can you see that? Yeah, I see it. To understand that positioning of Gagat as the number one work at the top of the list, we have to take a look at some of these runners up. If you go to NR19, you will see the name Sir Michael Atia, Sir Professor Michael Atia, and Daniel Iago Nitzer, Field Medalist Lectures. That's NR19. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. Praise God for that. So who is Sir Professor Michael Atia? Sir Professor Michael T, as you can see here on his Wikipedia page, is a current day English mathematician who is, or was at one time, the master of Trinity College. If you look here in the second paragraph, I'll highlight it. There. Can you see it highlighted? Yeah, I see it. 
He's a master of Trinity College from Cambridge. This is a prestigious chair of the mathematics department at Cambridge University. A former person who held that chair, whom T is a successor to, is none other than Sir Professor Isaac Newton. Can you see his page up on the screen? Yes. Newton is considered to be along with Gauss and Euler to be the top three European mathematicians. And Atia is a successor to Newton. Now, the other thing that's important to understand about Atia is Atia has won an award which is equivalent to Nobel Prize, which is known as the Field Medal. And you see the Field Medal page in front of you. Front of you. Yes. The Field Medals are the prize awarded to two, three, or four mathematicians under 40 years of age, which is, that's not really that important. But what's important to understand is this part here, the last sentence of that paragraph. The Field Medal and Abel Prize, ignoring the Abel Prize for the moment, the Field Medal has often been described as the mathematician's Nobel Prize. Can you see that highlighted? Yes, sir. So the Field Medal is an award equivalent to Nobel Prize, since there's no specific Nobel 